Do you like cooking? Do you agree with me that onion and garlic are must-haves in the kitchen? If you are like most people, you probably don't give up adding fresh garlic and onion to your dishes. Garlic and onion are tasty and nutritious and last a long time in the pantry. Their powder versions, although uncommon, are interesting options to explore in the kitchen. Besides having a longer shelf life, they are versatile and give a slightly different flavor from the fresh ingredients, pairing with many dishes. Now let's see the benefits of garlic and onion. They lower cholesterol, avoiding heart complications and the formation of gallstones. They are high in selenium, a substance that acts as an antioxidant and attacks the free radicals that cause diseases. Both contain high levels of vitamin C, high levels of B-complex vitamins. They fight colds and flu thanks to their anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antiparasitic, antibacterial, and antifungal substances. Help avoid cancer since they contain allicin, a sulfurous compound that can neutralize carcinogenic substances found in meat and other foods. As we can see, adding these two ingredients to our diets is a great idea. Let's see now how to make garlic and onion powder at home. Garlic powder. Take a head of garlic, peel all the cloves, and slice them into the tiniest slices you can. Put all in a glass baking tray and take it to the oven. Set your oven to 302 degrees Fahrenheit and leave your garlic there for 1 hour 30 minutes. After that, take the garlic out. You will notice the garlic slices are dry and brittle. If your garlic isn't thoroughly dehydrated, put it back into the oven for a few extra minutes. After that, put all the toasted garlic pieces into a blender or food processor and process for 20 seconds. After that, use a sieve to remove any big pieces left. Put your garlic powder in a container and it is ready for use. You can use the big pieces if you want. Onion powder. Take two small onions or a medium-sized one and peel them completely. Make sure to not leave any peels or superficial deformities. After peeling your onions, dice them very small. Put the diced onions in a glass baking tray and take them to the oven. Set your oven to 302 degrees Fahrenheit and leave the onion there for 2 hours 30 minutes. After the 2 hours are up, remove the onion from the oven. The onion should be totally dried. If not, take the tray back into the oven for a few minutes. After that, put the dehydrated onion in a blender or food processor and process for 20 seconds. Use a sieve to separate any big pieces left behind. Store your onion powder in a container and it is ready to be added to your recipes. You can use the big pieces if you want. See how there aren't any secrets to making your own garlic and onion powder? Add them to your dishes. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.